What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of the My Living Legacy vlog. Uh, as always, I am Tyler Jack Harris and I want to unpack for you guys uh, this past weekend. And what an interesting weekend it was. We had the Unbreakable 48 Challenge and uh, I was not broken, but I came pretty close. So, for those of you that aren't familiar with the information that we've put out about this Unbreakable 48, let me kind of uh, lay it out for you as briefly as I can. So, for 48 hours, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern on Friday, we participated in one hour of physical activity, so some type of workout, walking, jogging, hiking, you know, actually working out. Um, really, it could be anything, just moving your body for one hour every four hours for 40 straight hours. So it was 12 workouts in two days. And we had people participating from all over the US. I think we had somebody in Tokyo. Uh, we had about 50 people that got on every single time. And what we would do it was we jump on Zoom 15 minutes prior to that hour of working out and then 15 minutes afterwards uh, to really unpack a lot of the lessons, a lot of the takeaways from the focuses of each of what we call the evolution, which would be one round of physical activity and really talk about how we can apply those lessons and the focuses that we had during those evolutions to our everyday lives in every area of our life. And so obviously there was a physical baseline of getting this hour of, of movement. We layered on top of that some intellectual things and some wealth building things and some relationship building things over the course of the 48 hours to really encompass every area of life or as we say, the five pyramids of human performance. And I got to tell you, it was, it, was an, it was an interesting weekend. I feel like I came face to face with a lot of darkness of my own over the course of this weekend. Just been through a lot of stuff in my own life over the last six months. And I feel like participating uh, fully in this experience just brought that right to the forefront of my mind. And there were a lot of emotions involved. And quite frankly, I was just focused on getting through the two days. Um, I didn't sleep well the night and the night, the night before and the night before that. And what I learned was there's really no way to catch up on sleep one hour at a time. So you'd have about an hour, hour and a half by the time you got everything done and prepared for the next round. You'd have about an hour and a half break before it was time to move your body again. And so, you know, would sleep very sporadically. Uh, doing physical activity outside. Uh, it was hot. It was through the night, especially the, the midnight, 4 a.m., 8 a.m. sessions or evolutions. Both nights were extremely difficult. And I just, honestly, I felt like I was just in like a cloud, uh, just in a fog the whole time. Um, but I am absolutely blown away by the participation from those that were conducting this Unbreakable 48 virtually. Uh, the, the ability to wake up at your home, jump on Zoom, and then go out and work out for an hour, jump back up on Zoom, and engage with everybody participating. Uh, I have the utmost respect for those that participated virtually and completed it, uh, which most everyone did. A couple of people missed a session here and there, but the majority of people were on every single Zoom, every single hour of physical activity, and just honestly blew me away. Uh, we did a debriefing last night where we got everybody back together on Zoom, and it was just incredible to see the breakthroughs that people experienced over this 48 hours. Not only the, the breakthroughs physically, but the breakthroughs in so many different areas. And in really looking at if we just focus on simple things, like moving your body, walking for an hour, it's, it's so simple. But what would happen if you walked or jogged for an hour a day every single day over the course of the next year? And then as we layered in intellectual and wealth building and relationships, these simple things that we all know how to do that in and of itself aren't difficult to accomplish, but if we would just do those simple things every single day over the course of a year, what would our lives look like and what would be available to us if we operated out of that, out of that space? Um, I think one of the biggest takeaways for me was looking at those excuses, those emotions that pop up as to why you would not finish, complete, accomplish what you're trying to go after. 
and something as as silly as a 48 hour challenge those those excuses as to when that alarm clock goes off why it's not the greatest idea to get up and get on the zoom call and, and accomplish your hour of physical activity those subtle seductive and very believable excuses that creep into all of our lives and the parallel into the real world outside of this 48 hour bubble is those excuses that came up each night, each day, each session are the exact same excuses that are holding you and holding me back from being the best version of ourselves. So as we went throughout this process, um, the physical toll was real. Uh, my feet were swollen, my ankles, shins uh, were in a good deal of pain as we were hiking through the woods and walking on the road and getting some workouts in. Uh, but I think more than anything, it was just the mental exhaustion of you know a little bit of sleep deprivation on top of you know learning new things over the course of a very condensed period of time being 48 hours. Uh, but go to go back to the debriefing last night, I was just absolutely I was blown away um, by the things that people experienced, by uh, the things that people have now implemented already in the short term in their lives, and the relationships that have been mended or the relationships that have been restored, um, some of the wealth building things that people put into place over the course of this 48 hours was incredible uh, to hear. Uh, explain and there was a lot of emotions that there were there were people that were extremely emotional about these breakthroughs that they had which is such an incredible feeling to be able to host and facilitate an event like that that did exactly what we wanted it to do from the beginning our desire and our intent from the very beginning was to create a space to create an environment a short term a short period of time where in 48 hours people could experience that type of breakthrough so to do that and then see those breakthroughs experience is it's everything that we could have ever asked for uh, because of that I'm sure we're going to be doing more uh, and more importantly coming out of this unbreakable 48 challenge we've created an online community called the forge where now all of those people will be in this Facebook group the forge where they can continue this momentum you know, if you think of like ripping off a band-aid, you know, a lot of stuff happened in 48 hours, but what do you do coming out of that 48 hours, the people that you connect with, the conversations that you're having to be able to build upon these things that you learned very quickly to really be able to apply it to not only survive through the rest of 2020, but to be able to thrive from there on out the rest of your entire life. And again, the focus being on simple things. In a complex world, in a chaotic world, if we just focus on the simple things, and you guys have heard me say this before, this word extraordinary, that it's not these extraordinary things that we have to come up with and then accomplish. It's just those ordinary things, those simple things, but when we apply the extra, which is doing those simple ordinary things every single day, doing them more than we've ever done them before, more than anyone else around us has done them before, then extraordinary results happen. And I think for me, that is the culmination of this experience, is that when you when you focus on simple things and you accomplish simple things, powerful results become available to you. And it becomes more sustainable. You have the ability to do this day in and day out because again, these things are simple. So coming out of this event, I'm extremely, um, I'm extremely excited to see what's next with Unbreakable Leadership, to see how this carries over into the conversation inside The Forge, which is our exclusive online community. You guys can check that out uh, on Facebook. We'll put the link below. And get a part of this conversation. Uh, to have a 23-year, highly decorated Navy SEAL, Silver Star recipient, um, to be able to have Tom walk us through this process that he developed through 23 years in the Navy SEALs and then coaching clients uh, all over the world over the last six years and Fortune 500 companies consulting and doing leadership events uh, all over the US. Uh, to be able to get that information directly from Tom and then be able to take it and apply it to our own lives was absolutely transformative and uh, I am extremely grateful for having been able to experience it myself but I'm even more grateful to be able to experience the breakthroughs that other people had 
as a group together and separately and what their lives are going to be like individually and what this group of people are going to be able to do together inside this community the forge so guys with that uh, thank you for joining me on this episode i hope you enjoyed some of the b-roll that we've shown throughout of just how grueling and crazy this weekend really really was uh, and guys stay tuned for more events like this in the future we've got a 24-hour challenge we've got 48-hour challenges we've got unbreakable leadership trainings level one level two we've got the community the forge You've got so much stuff going out that I want you guys to be able to harness and participate in and really have your life changed because of going through these difficult things with us, accomplishing simple things and transforming our lives in the process. So with that, guys, thank you for joining us on this episode of My Living Legacy. Until next time, we'll see you soon.